particular turban i'm going to be needing you guys to pay real attention to what i'm doing it seems like a very easy turban to tie but it's very technical and tricky i need you guys to really really watch what i'm doing intently like pay attention to what i'm doing can you see I hope you can see very clearly how that went and what we're going to do next so i'm taking the longer wing and i'm going to tuck it behind like i mostly do in the videos you'd notice i mostly tuck the wings of my turban behind because i would rather do that then use a pen or brush you already you already know how i feel about that if you have watched other tutorials of mine so now we're left with this two i'm going to take that bow and tuck it into the turban can you see that i tucked it into the turban so what I'm left with now is the short, very short wing. And I'm going to manipulate it any which way I want to into any style that I want. But in this case, it is the style in the video cover that we are making. So this is where the trick is. You have to be mindful that you're talking the ends of this one so that they don't come out you can you can you can talk in the ends using office pins you know or brushes that would hide very small brushes that you can that are not very conspicuous or obvious of course but in this case i'm going to tuck it into the turban into that edge hoping that it doesn't come out and i'm going to just bend the other edges can you see that? I hope you can see that. If the edge of the fabric was weaved, I wouldn't even mind. I mean, it would it, it would look more beautiful. But because the edges of the fabric haven't weaved, now you have to find a way to just tuck it in behind. But if you have a fabric um, whose edges are weaved, then you don't have to bother about that. It will look beautiful regardless. Now that that's done, you can just adjust the other parts of the turban to make sure that they look prim and that every nitty gritty is in order. Mind you, you don't want your turban too tight as to give you a headache, you know. <laughs> Do not make your turbans too tight or else you would not feel comfortable. Especially when you're out, you would always be touching and trying to release the tension on the turban. What I'm going to do next, I'm going to take a brush. You can take any brush of your choice, but most especially the one that complements the color of the fabric. The color of this brush is, it's a white and golden brush and white gold they are universal colors. They go very well with almost any shade of fabric. Now, I just install that in the middle of the flare that we have right there and the turban. Does it look nice? Would you have preferred yours without the brush or with the brush? So yes, with or without brush. Let me know your preference. See ya in the next video.